So nothing like laying on a freshly cut cardboard box. Right, honey? Yeah. Well, that didn't take long at all. The Beirut picture sold. One last time I'm going to look at it. Let me clip you guys here. It always makes you wonder, right? Piece that sells relatively quickly. Vicky listed this yesterday afternoon. It sold today by late morning. Now, I don't know if any of you guys, viewers, bought this or, or just some random person. But it always makes you wonder, especially on a, such a unique piece like this, picture of Beirut, did we charge enough, right? Or did I short it myself? But based on research and experience between me and Vicky that we have over the years, we want to move stuff, right? So, yes, is it possible that this picture could be worth maybe a thousand bucks or even more? It's possible to the right person if you may be willing to wait. But we don't know when exactly, who took the picture, um, what year is it? There's no signature. It would be a different ball game if this was signed by Beirut. You could tell by looking at the picture that uh, some random person walked by and took a snapshot of Beirut and his wife sitting at the stands. Just by looking that he's in a stance and, and it looks a little bit, to be a little bit older here. I'm thinking this is in mid to late 40s, right before he passed away. Um, but again, speculating, it could be a little bit earlier. So it's very hard to put like a hardcore number on this. Now, if this, this had a signature, totally different ball game, I would definitely send this in, got it graded, uh, appraised and and stuff like that but i'm happy 300 bucks i'm sure it's going to some kind of collector and uh, now i just gotta prep it nicely i got this very solid hardcore box that it's gonna go in i mean cardboard and then it's gonna go in another envelope stiff envelope and then priority mail so yeah very cool piece of history here for sure What is this? Stanley? For a Stanley knife? A gift from Amazon. Quit cutting yourself with a dull blades from John DC Picker. <laughs> John, you busting my balls, John. So John is referring to my finger. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's all peeling now. Now it's all better. I, uh, I got infection in my finger because I cut myself really, really bad about a month ago and it healed up and then a week ago, infection. So I've been taking antibiotics for this almost over and it's been peeling like crazy. But John is busting my balls. He sent me a whole box of Stanley blades. So I stopped using dull blades. It wasn't a dull blade, John. It was a very sharp blade. I just don't know how to use them properly. And if you are uh, enjoying reselling content go check out john dc picker on youtube good guy good content this of the guy not a whole lot of money here but they're just cool and they uh, they fit right in in my shop this is all different uh, mainly Chicago Times but I think there's some Chicago Tribune here as well 
So like this is Chicago Bears where Walter Payton passed away. This is some stuff from the day that Chicago Bears were winning. Well, this is 1988, so they were not doing that great. It says all over. But check this one out. January 27, right after the Super Bowl. This is Monday, 1986. And they're carrying Mike Ditka after winning the game. Original paper. So this is cool stuff. Look at this. Chicago Sun Times championships 91 92 93 so this bull stuff and MJ stuff is gonna do very well since the the last dance on Netflix just came out you know or ESPN cool stuff look at this I gotta set the camera down actually this is a Walter Payton record that was released for Kentucky Fried Chicken doing it right isn't that cool only one sided <laughs> look at how flimsy it is you don't see that very often that's that's very cool not big money here again it's probably worth just a few bucks it's just a cool history it's gonna look great in a display case here and then we got more let me take these out Memorable bull. Jordan had world firmly in his grip. What is the date on this? January 15, 1999. Then we got Ward It Is Weight. Bulls pick up fourth NBA trophy with 87 75 victory over Sonics. This is another Chicago Land Area newspaper, Northwest Herald. <laughs> beer, beer scrap, Iron Mike. That was it for uh, Mike Ditka, I guess. What's the date on this? This is January 6, 1993. Bulls win it. Chicago celebrates NBA championship. Thursday, June 13, 1991. So this is a good one. This is against Lakers. Michael Jordan goes up for two of his 30 points Wednesday night. Wasn't that a year you were born, 1991 or something? No. <laughs> Not much. Let's see. Man, these are sitting tight in this. NBA champs, the season the Bulls made history. Friday, June 14, 1991. Look at that, Paxson, Cartwright. June 15, 1992, champs. Number two, number two. And then we had the three-peat, right? Chicago Sun-Times, this is June 21, 1993. Bulls game six against the Suns. Isn't that supposed to say three-peat, not three-feet? I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because it's a great feat. Plan words. Michael Jordan lets out the around Chicago after Bulls 99-98 victory over Phoenix. And of course inside there's nothing. It's all about his last final shot. Paxson makes the three-pointer to win the game, I think. There's a look at Charles Barkley here. There's nothing but uh, they were on such a high thing, you know, the Bulls, that everything in this paper is just about them. Every yeah, page you flip, 
Yeah, yeah it's, it's all about, I mean, look at every other place. Look at the MJ advertising Chevy here, another game here. I mean, this is all about the Bulls. Crazy. I'm gonna set these down here so you guys, because it's a nasty glare when they're laying like this. These are beautiful Art Deco pictures. There's supposed to be four of them. So I got only two. Uh, set would be all four. And these are done by uh, Robert William LaDuke, 1930s, 1940s. And he actually attended the uh, Art Institute of Chicago, so the fine art school here. They're very cool. Look at that train. That Art Deco look. Sorry, I'm getting even a little bit glare right here because they have glass in front of them. So the frames are a little bit messed up here on top, but that's not a big deal. But the, the prints are fantastic. Love that kind of stuff. I wish we had all four of them here, but it is what it is. I priced them at 30 bucks a pop. But look at this. Adrian bought this a few days ago, the Singer. We listed on uh, Facebook Marketplace for 90 bucks. And I'm not kidding you guys. I think I had 50 messages. Yeah. 50 messages within the last couple days. Nobody showed up. And people are like, I'll give you 70, I'll give you 80. And I agreed to a couple of $80 offers and still they didn't show up. So many flakes on Facebook, it's crazy. I mean, we get a lot of business from Facebook, but right. some people are just like, so that's one good thing about having a shop that I just give them the time and the address. You know, we're open from 10 to seven, come on over, you well, know? Can you imagine trying to sell Can you imagine house? sitting in a house waiting for these 50 people that none of them showed up that would be such a pain in the ass but that's that's dealing with facebook you know so what are you gonna do so anyway guys this is a short one thank you so much for watching i appreciate it and i'll catch you on the next one